Okay, thanks, Suzanne, and uh, good afternoon, everybody. I know there are around 150 people. Unfortunately, we can't see you, everyone, but at the same time, I'm delighted to see that so many people are interested to listen to our program in ECD. So my name is uh, Suja Somanathan. I am the program director for Children and General Nursing. Um, I just want to ask you a question before I start anything. <laughs> How many of you in these uh, 153 people interested in interacting with the children, adult at all age? And also, I would like to ask another question. Are you curious about how children and adults stay healthy or become ill? Wow. <laughs> There's a lot of interest, Catherine. I think I'm going to take over. <laughs> Sorry. There's a huge interest. Uh, thank you very much for everybody's poll. I think 99% said yes, they are very curious. And then 96% said uh, they enjoy interacting and communicating with the children and adults of all age. Very interesting poll. I'm very pleased to see that. Thank you very much, everyone who participated in the poll. So I'm just wondering, uh, can I have the next slide, please, Suzanne? Thank you. Okay, so I just want to highlight what, what is meant by children and general nursing program. So the, the role of the children and general nursing is to foster the health and well-being of individuals across the lifespan. So it includes children and their family. And Catherine already mentioned about adults and their families. So it's about offering the holistic care and approach for, for caring for these individuals and their families. It can be in the hospital setting. It can be in the community setting. It can be anywhere. But we are here to, especially children's nurse, you are registered nurse who is there to look after the children up until age from birth to 18. I know the pediatric hospital, I know many of you may be the pediatric patient before visiting Temple Street or Kremlin Hospital or Thala, you know, but the main hospital they take up to 16, but in the communities up to 18. So any age from birth all the way to 18, you look after uh, those, those children and the family. So that is the responsibility of a children's nurse. And then general nurse, as I think Catherine very beautifully mentioned earlier, is about adult across the lifespan and then partnership with their family. So the, the beauty of this these program, you are getting two registration status, being a general nurse working with adult, being a children's nurse working with children and the families. Can I have the next slide, please? Yeah, so this is the longest program. I know, I, I think I mentioned every year, it's, this is like a buy one, get one free. You're getting two degrees, so you probably need to work a little bit harder. So it's a four and a half year program. And then you become registered children's nurse and registered do, uh, uh, general nurse. The dual qualification you will be getting after four and a half years. I probably, now, now you probably know why we have a length because we need to make sure you get the proper training and education to qualify for the registration program for being a children and general nurse. And we do take up to 42 students per year. And I need to admit um, in, in Ireland, I think in Dublin, we are the most popular uh, university to offer this program, which is the University College of Dublin. And Cork is also, uh, Cork is a top and we are the second uh, because Cork um, uh, University is really um, uh, on the top too. So um, I just want to highlight that we are offering a very good program. Um, can I have the next slide please? Thank you, Suzanne. And um, so these, uh, just want to highlight um, majority of, of the clinical uh, learning experience will take place in uh, the, the world class. I mean, the top uh, hospitals like uh, Mater University Hospital, St. Vincent Healthcare Group, the child specific, you go to Children Health Ireland at Crumlin. I have a video link. Uh, we will be sharing these slides with you all later. And that video link will bring you to the new hospital site where you will see what is going to be look like in 2023 when we have this world-class hospital is going to open. So I have a feeling people like yourself, you know, you are good joining the program. When you qualify, you will be working with the world-class, top-class hospital in the country, in the world. So that'll be a fantastic opportunity for you all. And also we have a range of specialist sites across uh, Ireland's hospital group, including community sites, 
you go to the Joan of God for a psychiatric placement. And we also have Erasmus program where we can, you can go, um, as Catherine mentioned, you can go to a number of European countries between the year two and four. So there are opportunity to study abroad. Can I have the next slide, please? Yeah, just, just want to give you a brief overview. I didn't uh, break it down into year by year, but I just want to highlight, if you go to our, our school website, there is a detailed curriculum um, um, information is available. So please go, uh, go ahead and have a look at the school website for what exactly we teach in the year one, year two, year three, and year four. So when you think about yeah, uh, when you think about the main program, I think Catherine mentioned very uh, you know very clearly in her slides and um, looking at uh, all the year and the behavioral science, social science, anatomy and physiology, psychology, pharmacology, and caring for the children and adults with the diverse healthcare needs. For example, care of a child who has diabetes, care of a child who has who is has a respiratory problem like cystic fibrosis, uh, even Caring for a little, little uh, baby has a bronchitis. You know, when the flu season comes up, we need to look after the baby with the bronchitis. So there are variety of um, um, healthcare needs will be covered through the program. And also we do focus on management and leadership, quality and safety as well. Then I go back to the clinical practice. You will be uh, working with a number of hospitals. So I have to admit, um, you, will, you will be getting the teaching experience from expert lecturers in UCD and also expert clinical practitioners in the clinical site. So they will be uh, working with you um, at the clinical site. We'll be delivering a reflective days, workshop together. There are a lot of opportunities to work in collaboration, work as a team and improve your leadership and management skills throughout the program from all the way from year one to year three, year four. Next slide, please. Thank you. Again, I, I will be repeating myself. I just thought it's important for you to understand we do have a um, number of opportunities. I think Catherine mentioned again in her slides. We have a computer lab system. We have face-to-face -face teaching. We do have a clinical skills lab where we teach a lot of clinical skills. For example, um, uh, oxygen therapy, how to take a blood pressure, how to take a, take a temperature. Very basic, but it's important you to get hands-on experience to understand how you do it. In the, in the real world. So we do have a, 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 a fantastic facility in UCD. Unfortunately, due, due to COVID-19, we are not able to bring you to the you know, face-to-face um, virtual face-to-face -to -face tour around the around the campus, and which is uh, you know, which is really, really interesting because I was a student of UCD and I always enjoyed being in the campus and going around and seeing the places. So, but this is again virtual, but there will be opportunity for you down the line to go and visit uh, the school itself. Uh, can I have the next slide, please? Yeah. Okay, and another interesting question, why do you want to study with us? Um, I, I want to admit we have a modern lecture theaters. We have a skill laboratories, a very, you know, very purposefully built um, uh, building and a beautiful campus, a computer labs, a clubs and, and social event place, everything is there. But I know with the COVID-19 again, we are stuck. But I have to admit, uh, being a student of UCD myself, I did a five graduation with UCD. I was a student of UCD for 14 years. I have to admit, it's a beautiful campus to be in. So definitely go and explore UCD. Uh, can I have the next slide, please? Yeah. So I, I don't have the student with me, but I just want to uh, highlight, uh, this is my, one of my students who graduated last year, Evande. So um, her testimonial, and I'm going to leave it for you to read. Is that okay? Can I go to the next slide, please, then? Yeah. So this is uh, John Hutchings. He's a much student. Uh, the reason I have, he's a currently graduate student, and their graduation on the 15th of June, we are going to have a virtual um, conferring ceremony for this uh, cohort group. And the reason I have uh, John, John was a much student, and he qualified in genetics before he came and undertook this program. So it's important for people like uh, John or a much student out there to understand it is possible to take nursing 
even though you are a MATCH student. Can you have the next slide, please? Thank you. So what I, I really want to highlight, this is my, thinking, my last slide. I just really want to highlight this slide, your career opportunities. So completing this program will qualify you as a registered nurse and registered children's nurse and general nurse. And your future um, professional role uh, can be extended beyond clinical practice. I think Catherine also mentioned about number of areas you could work. You could work as a clinical practice staff nurse and you can work as a clinical nurse specialist, a advanced nurse practitioner. And if you're interested in management and leadership, you can go as a clinical nurse manager from level one all the way to level three. You can be assistant director of nursing, director of nursing. And if you're interested in research, you can go to the route of research and education as well. And you can, be, you can do your master's by research, PhD, and then you can come and work with us in ECD. So there are opportunity for you. And also, I just want to highlight, because being a um, children's and general nurse, your work opportunity is endless. You can work anywhere in the world. You can go to America, you can go to Canada, Australia, anywhere in the world you want to, you will get the job. Uh, you know, because anywhere you can work, either child or adult uh, sites. And also, there are opportunities for a professional education. For example, you can do master's degree, you can do postgraduate degree, and you can come and undertake PhD. So it's uh, so many opportunities for you. So, uh, you know, don't ever think that nursing is going to stop you as a nurse. It's not. No, nursing is going to bring many opportunities for you. Because when I qualified, I worked in Temple Street for 14 years. I was a student nurse. I was a staff nurse, clinical nurse manager, level, level, level two. And then I came to UCD after completion of my PhD. So I, I, I'm, the reason I'm saying I'm only in UCD for the last three years, but I worked over 15 years in Temple Street. So there are many opportunities for you. So I just, I'm, I, I, I hope, um, you know, uh, you have enough information and please feel to contact me. I, my details are available via UCD website uh, or through the school. And I think the final slide, Suzanne. I think I have one more slide, sorry. <laughs> yes. So this is a campus, guys. I know I, we can't take you for the tour, but have a look at the campus. And it's a beautiful sunny day and we should be out there. And then the final slide, last one. So, yeah, I would strongly recommend you to watch the YouTube video uh, where I send all my students and myself as a student, I watched that one. It's a really good one and you get a really good campus tour. So I would recommend the YouTube video. And thank you very much, everyone, and have a good day. Take care. Thank you, Suja. Thank you so much. Um, I think we've time for a couple of questions. We'll have a look and see. Um, so we can answer this one live. Uh, can a general nurse specialize into something more specific like oncology? Um, the answer is yes, they can. Usually they need to have um, a year to two years work experience in the area, but they can specialize in that. Don't know if any of the panel wanted to add anything to that. Um, yeah, Catherine. So, sorry, yeah, there are a number you could go into diabetes as a specialism mm -hmm. or oncology or cardiovascular nursing. Or There's just so many different specialist uh, programs you can join as a postgraduate um, student after your general nursing degree. Okay, thank you. That's done. Um, I don't know if you guys can see these questions, so I'm reading them out. Can yeah. you go on to study medicine in UCD after finishing children or, uh, or midwifery nursing? I think they can, um, as a much a student, they can try, but they may need to contact UCD medicine itself. There are opportunities. Yeah, and I think for possibly, the, they may be eligible for the graduate entry medicine. That's um, right, yeah. Probably need to, to contact her colleagues in yeah. this. That's, that's correct. Yeah, graduate entry medicine is the route if they're already a registered nurse. Okay. Um, is it possible to do general nursing and do the, the children's nursing as a one year bachelor's honors course? Uh, so it is possible to do the general nursing and then to go on and do, a, it's not a bachelor's, it, it is at that level, but it's called a higher diploma in children's nursing. So 
and I think there was slides on that early on in the in the webinar, so they'll be available when you see the, the webinar next week. Uh, Suja, this is a question for you, I think. Is the course very challenging? It is challenging for any course is challenging, um, especially mm -hmm. children in general. You will be rotating between, between three clinical sites, which is Matter, then Vincent's and Kremlin. So you will be, um, it is challenging, it's a longer program. And um, but it's, it, uh, what I hear from my student, it is quite interesting working between children and adult um, clinical sites. Okay, 